Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, thank you for tuning in to Werewolf at the Movies. I am your host, obviously, the werewolf. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's get crack a -lacking. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the film The Crow. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen this film, uh, it's, a, it's a dark one. Uh, it's about a rock musician and his wife-to-be who are murdered. Uh, a year after that murder, he gets resurrected, so uh, the rock musician, I should say, gets resurrected um, to exact vengeance on those who did the murdering. So, that's pretty badass, right? <laughs> this sounds awesome, cool. Um, I remember seeing this film when I was far too young and thinking that it was super scary. But, uh, you know, like, I, upon growing up, I guess, um, I realized it's actually really beautiful in the way that it's shot and the way that it's, it's presented. You know, it's pretty badass. Uh, there is, however, a true dark side to this film in that it was actually the last film for the actor Brandon Lee. So those of you who don't know Brandon Lee, uh, obviously you've probably heard of Bruce Lee, the martial artist slash... Um, movie star well this was his son so during the filming of this uh, of this movie Brandon Lee took a bullet to the chest in a crazy crazy accident um, as the story goes there had been a bullet lodged in the barrel of the gun that they were going to use on set then they loaded it with blanks for the next you know whatever shot that they were going to do and um, that blank shot forced out the bullet and bam right in the chest so it was all she wrote some actually say that the lee family so bruce lee and brandon lee both having died in pretty crazy ways uh were cursed and that brandon lee was the actual final cursed soul so yeah if you didn't pick up on that this film stars brandon lee <laughs> i heard a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Uh, it also stars Ernie Hudson. I think you can rule out accidental death. <laughs> and Michael Wincott. Say hello to the last fellow who wouldn't cooperate with me. Um, those of you who don't know, Michael Wincott's actually Canadian. Just an interesting tidbit. Enough backstory though. This film is amazing, it's beautiful, it's moving. It's actually based on a comic book, which was equally as awesome. That being said, I think it's about time that I rate this film. I'm going to be rating this film a well-deserved nine burning crows. Out of ten. Nine burning crows out of ten. This was a short one, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that this movie review actually convinces you to check this film out because it truly is a great film. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Hey! Piss off! We're closed!